Hello, I am Stephen Cook, CEO and founder of CFC Aircar. I'm originally from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm currently residing in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I work as a manufacturing engineer for one of the top medical device companies in the world. And my name is Dane Parkinson. I'm the CFO of CFC Aircar. Uh, my, I'm originally from the San Francisco Bay Area and currently residing in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. I am also a CFO of a pharmaceutical distribution company, but I also have a second life in business as from my past of having been in process improvement and mergers and acquisitions for private equity companies. Our product is the AirCar. It's a five passenger, 150 to 200 mile per hour personal air and ground vehicle. You can load up your wife and three children or five friends and you can drive to a local airport, take off and fly anywhere you want to go on your own time. Then you can land and drive to your hotel room, to the beach, to the mountains, or my favorite is to an ultimate frisbee club tournament or freestyle mogul skiing competition. Charles, what we are seeking is a, uh, a Series A round of $3.5 million in exchange for a 35% equity stake in the company. Our intention with that funding is to develop a working prototype of the car, working along with Dar Corporation to complete the design, and also working with the Scale Composite Division of Northrop Corporation, who will uh, build and test the prototype. So the air car is the fastest and most efficient way that you can drive 50 or fly 50 to 1,000 miles. And one way you may want to use it is to go to Grandma and Grandpa's for Thanksgiving dinner. In addition, $5,000 will be included in the price of the vehicle for your private pilot training. The patents will be filed as soon as the design is completed, and currently we have a SolidWorks CAD model of our air car design. We have a business plan, 100 pages long, financial projections, and a PowerPoint. But most importantly is I've spent my life 20 years meeting with the key people from NASA, Ford Motor Company, uh, Burt Rutan. With the $3.5 million, we'll complete the design, file for the patents, build and demonstrate the prototype. Then we'll get Series B funding for FAA and DOT certification, then build a factory and bring the vehicle to market. CFC has earned $150,000 on engineering consulting services in Boston, Massachusetts. The air car has four different engine options, a 200 horsepower, 350 horsepower, and then a 500 horsepower turbine engine and a twin turbine vertical takeoff version. The unique thing about the air car that's different from all of our competitors is that all four of our competitors right now have two passenger vehicles. And one day, one day they're going to wake up and realize when they have a little baby that this is not a family vehicle, a two-seater, and they're going to need to have a larger vehicle. So we're starting right out with a five-seat vehicle that mom and dad and three children or five friends could take and go where they wished to go. My greatest aha moment was when I was working as a manufacturing engineer and at uh, Bard Access Systems in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I was commuting to BYU every day to go to school to become a manufacturing engineer. And I would drive this little Toyota Tercel 90 miles an hour back and forth between Salt Lake and Provo. And I realized that this little car, if it had wings, it could fly. And so I started researching and I found out that Malt Taylor in 1949 had built an air car. And he actually built a total of four air cars, one of which still flies to today. Dan, what about your aha moment? Well, Steve, when you described the product to me and the opportunity here, I thought a lot like that I expect the Sharks to think about this, that there's a great market opportunity. That's what I saw in it, was a market opportunity. When you think about the old days when the cars came out and people didn't know exactly what they were for, they had great opportunity once they came out to see how, what potential they had in this country. I see the same opportunity here. I see it in three-dimensional space, much like we drive the cars in two-dimensional space. And what's important to me between the market opportunity and what I believe is a breakthrough innovation that Steve has developed is the opportunity to offset whatever risk might be involved in developing this product with fabulous reward opportunities. All right, thanks, Steve. So the amount invested so far in CFC is $100,000. And this has gone towards my private pilot training. In addition, I've presented the air car at the Yale Club in New York City in Detroit, Boston, Indianapolis, Chicago, Las Vegas, California, Salt Lake, and Boise, Idaho. 
flown out and met with Bert Rutan personally, and I personally met with Bill Ford. And uh, Bill Ford's great-great-grandfather, Henry Ford, said, Mark my word, a combination airplane and motor car is coming. You may smile, but it will come. And it wasn't my great-grandfather that said that. That's Bill Ford's great-grandfather. One of the things that we'd like to end with is, obviously, this is about finance in some ways, for you and for us, the opportunity for, opportunity, for profit. The, our ultimate goal for the CFC Air Car is to grow the business with two to five billion sales over the next seven to ten years. What we expect to be able to do with that is either potentially run the profit, in, run the business in perpetuity, or potentially to sell it to one of the auto companies. The expectation for that sale could be as much as twenty billion dollars. We expect that there will be a payout of five to ten x or ROI or ROI of thirty-five percent. Uh, to our investors, personally walk away ourselves with potentially 20% or as much as $4 billion. Now I know that that's ambitious, but when you think about the opportunity for the market of this car, think about where that opportunity might lead in terms of financial return, again against the risks that we've discussed earlier. Most importantly to us is that we bring new technology to the market in the air car. The segment of the market would make a better place for us, for us, for our families, for anybody who utilizes this car and really expand their world. So something to remember about myself, as I've mentioned previously, I love to compete in freestyle mogul skiing and ultimate frisbee club tournaments. And I think you too may enjoy the air car to travel to wherever your favorite place is to go. Our biggest challenge so far has been convincing the public that this is a viable technology. And, and luckily, um, some PhDs out of MIT have already built two working prototypes and they've proven that the air car is a function, technically feasible and viable option for a personal air vehicle. What does my family think about the air car? Well, they, they all admit that it will come soon, but they wonder why I'm so passionate about it. Well, if you've ever gotten a speeding ticket, and I have, um, you'll understand um, the pain of that. And this air car will help prevent that because the speed limit under 10,000 feet is 250 miles per hour. So there will be no more speed, speed, speeding tickets when you're flying. So Sharks, will you join us and help us to bring the air car to market?